What's going on guys, MJ2005 Gunner here and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Reginlace Julieta Custom or as it says in boss Julieta's Mobile Reginlace from the second season of Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Now this is obviously a a new generation of the Grace. So uh yeah it really shares some resemblance to it, especially like the feet and the like similar looking arms and all, of course the head. It, it's kind of like a middle ground for me because it differs from the grace but it doesn't at the same time. But yeah I really like this kind of like dark green and it with the white it it kind of has like a two too high of a contrast so the color scheme I'm not like a fan of especially on the chest because there's chunk of white here and then it's just green all over basically and I like that it has these heel spurs so it can like stand firmly on the ground unlike the other graces which has like high heels so it really doesn't like stand on the ground when it's needed and the head I'm really not like a big fan of the collar collar design but anyways, it is a really new addition and a really good one added of the Grace generation. So the stickers are obviously minimal because Grace's, yeah, they do not have like a more a attention to detail on it. But anyways, there's the like the mono eye and then the three point eyes, as I like to call them, or like uh, the the squash ball eyes <laughs> if you get what I mean they need two yellow strips here and then the big yellow strip down the Ahab reactor so that's all the details for the Regin Lace so for articulation on this thing the head is on the double ball joint as usual but be careful of the obstruction of the collar with the chest the arms are on the ball joints and the shoulder armor can come up like like similar to Gundam frames and the arms can come out that far which is yeah similar to Gundam frames as well rotate at the elbow no rotate above god damn it rotate above the elbow bend at the elbow at one joint the wrist they, they rotate at the guard because there's a, a totally new wrist design so they rotate at the guard and and the actual manipulators can move up and down just like so so you do not need like, additional manipulators to make it like it's slanting so that is a pretty good design but I don't know how they would they renovate from that because this like actually likes to come off the hand cover all the time and yeah you can see with a slight touch of the manipulator everything comes apart the waist is on the ball joint the, the actual torso without the armor popping off it can actually go forwards and back. And then the legs, they can go forwards without any obstruction whatsoever because there is no front skirts. Their back skirts are stationary so they cannot go much back. In and out all the way with the side skirt attached. There's no obstruction even though. You can rotate at the hip, a double jointed knee similar to the grace, and then the feet. Obviously the heel spurs can retract. And this is still on a ball joint, but then the foot is on a swivel itself. And then it's on a swivel at the back, so it, you can have like a, a, an extended range of motion. So uh yeah, crazy looking. <laughs> the crazy looking joints. And then the backpack. The thrusters can rotate up. At the base, they rotate at this joint over here, which is kind of hard to execute off with evident results. And then the actual piece can move up and down. The small kind of stabilization thrusters can move up and down, and then the main thrusters can move up and down. And obviously, the four chunky pieces of armor can rotate. So all in all, without everything popping off, the articulation of the resin lace is actually pretty good. I may say I may say it's the same as the grace, but then 
with the added articulation on the ankles, stabilization isn't a problem anymore. So, for accessories, you have, first of all, the gauntlets, which kind of are kind of like, like the forked head. So, you plug them in onto the arm, onto to the wrist guards, and you have kind of like a mini shield equipped. But then. There's no purpose for this peg being there. So I wonder if the EOX custom would utilize this peg or even both pegs. So for the other general weapon for the all the two for both regulators, the rifle. So it, it is actually like very different to the Grace rifle but similar in gimmicks because you take out the bottom piece. Okay feed it into the hand but then you just close it up and then there we go and i don't know what these two holes for are for probably for the eos custom again so like you can hold a rifle but if you take out the first if you take out the barrel it becomes uh, like a pistol and let me just take out the hand for now because why not so you take out the ammo drums or the ammo clips or the magazines you can either peg them onto the back skirt or as the instructions said or stated. But then the hard points on the chunky armor can also store ammo clips. So you can peg one there and one here. So if you have like six regen lasers, you can like fill this thing with ammo. But then you can also store the rifle. So let me put, put the barrel back on. And you can actually, if the armor will not obstruct anything. You can actually pick it onto the back. Well, with, with the barrel out. So you can actually store the rifle, which the greys cannot do. So I'm going to leave the ammo clips on for now. Because I, I am lazy to take them off. And before I continue, you actually get a, like a horn helmet. So you can actually create like a commander type of the Julietus Reginace. But now, for the signature weapon for the Julietus Custom, the twin pile. So these are actually just pile drive spikes, which does, does not launch. It's kind of like jousting a lance. To put them onto the regenerator is kind of tedious because you take off this bottom bit, and when you first build it, this is kind of tight, so you need to like be careful of snapping anything. So what you need to do is to take off the handle from the pile drive and feed it through the wrist or the hand and just peg it back on. It's kind of tight even though I've done a few times. So it is a good thing but be careful. So the regenerator is wielding the pile drive and with the wrist articulation you can actually point it forwards. And then we do the same for the other one, but upside down this time. And there's like a wire claw at the end of each pile drive. So here, you take off the claw. And then it provides you with a wire, but you need two to actually launch them all. So if you have the Amatsu Mina or, or model, hybrid models with wire guided weapons, after that, you are in luck because those fit. And we need no adapters whatsoever to launch the actual wire claw. So that's kind of a pretty neat gimmick. But then it comes with this piece. Until now, I still don't know how to use this piece. So, uh, 
Probably somebody tell me in the comments below how how do I use this piece? Sorry for the cut, but there's something I forgot in the review. So uh, you actually can deploy the the squash ball eyes or the head spherical sensor. So let me take out the head for more clearance. If I can get it off the ball joints without forcing, there we go. So what you need to do. First, you need to take off the top, and then you need to p point this down, the white piece. And then I really don't know how should I fit this, but it's somewhere along these lines. So you can deploy the head spherical sensor like this. So. It is kind of tedious, more tedious than the grays, but the results are actually pretty good. So that is all the accessories for the Reginlays Julieta Custom. So I've moved the Reginlays to towards the right for a little bit because it's time for comparison. So let's bring in the original grays. So as you can see, the pieces of armor have like a difference to each other and of course because the grace has high heels it cannot stand on such rough surfaces and then let's bring in the Schwalbe grace or the Schwalbe grace well it is German I don't know how to read German so yeah there we go and with the broken antenna I am so sorry that I cannot like give like a brief is a brief idea of how different they are and finally her first opponent the Gundam Barbatos Lupus obviously with the bent knees this thing is actually taller than the original lace it's actually taller than all the mobile suits I've reviewed of season 2 so far but anyways, that is the review of the High Grade Reginase. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more. Give me videos, model reviews, and all that kind of stuff. So, let's go to Ultra Prime, Ace of Videos, and Pure Sensation if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.